Star One. Welcome to Roger Pond Our Skies today. The next never update today. Uh, folks, what I mainly want to show you, stick around. Sunset school should be really good this evening. I mean, it should be real good. Got your cumulus. Storm builders is what those are. You can see they're getting high tops, right? Getting Starting to get high. So that's a storm building. And we got here in the southeast. I'm sorry, southwest. West. Look at that. But look at the blue clouds. You know, the clouds are turning blue. We should not see blue clouds here on a like a 78 degree day. And the blue clouds belong in cold weather. Not here. You know, it looks like something going on here. Yeah, ball. Big ball right there. It reminds me of a comet coming down. See there? So, alright folks, stick around. This video is going to get good. So, keep watching folks. Okay everyone. We are now just minutes before sunset. We're looking to the east. Let's darken this up a little bit and see what happens. As you notice, got more blue clouds. Let's see here. Okay. Oh man, look at that. That's pretty awesome. See how you got blue? Some people say that's from sky reflection, but wait till you see the west. You'll be saying different. See, look, blue clouds, that's even thicker. See there? Here. I got it. Right now I got a little bit dark, but here. There we go. Now you see how they're blue. I lighten the screen up. That way you see what I do. Look at that. That's that's gorgeous, isn't it? That is... Man, that's awesome looking. Look at all the red back there in the northeast. And, uh, hey folks, the... Uh, the telescope that I got, I'm going to work on it uh, Monday night. Um, I have to get a piece for it to where I can uh, hook my phone up to it and record while, I, you know, while I'm using it. And I can set the coordinates to it and it will take me wherever the coordinates I put in. You know, longitude, latitude. Okay, there's the west. As you can see the red right there. <laughs> It's getting really red back there, guys. Now look here. I mean, that just don't look right. Look how this comes over. And then right there, how it comes in right there. Looks like the clouds are cut right there. Look at that. See the blue clouds right in here? I mean, that's pretty wild, isn't it? It's glowing back in the west. But look at that. Now you see what I'm saying? Blue cloud right there. And that's under that big cumulus cloud right there. See there? We should not be seeing those at all. So, and again, that cloud's glowing. It's getting more of a red glow in the west. And then there's the north. Look at the stripes right there. See there? And if you look, it looks like a ball right there, and then one right there. Wow, it's going to glow tonight, folks. Watch this. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. <laughs> look at that. Wow. That is awesome. Now you can see more of the blue. So... <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's really glowing. It's going to get really red tonight, folks. So uh, stay with me. I'm going to pause this and we'll continue here in a few moments. I'm going to see what the red's going to do. So stay with me. All right, it's been a few minutes and uh, as you can, the glow is starting to go away. And uh, 
There's the south. As you can see, blue clouds again. Even down here, the, like blue and purple. But look, that's the south. That's the west. Where's the color in the north? Heck, even the way east has got it. How come there's no color in the north? It's kind of uh, weird, isn't it? We got color in all directions except the north, folks. To me, that's just strange. Especially when we normally have color in all directions. You know, usually when it gets red like this, the north usually looks like it's, I mean, especially the west, looks like it's just on fire. You know, and nope, there is a little bit of color now right there. That's the north. A little bit of color. There sure is. That just happened because I didn't see that when I went was over there a moment ago. So I sure would like to get behind them trees. I've been talking to wife about selling this house and moving. You know, buy another one somewhere and deeper in the woods. Of course, you know, and go off the grid. And uh that's just something I want to do. I want to go completely off grid. I don't know about you folks, but I'm just, I'm tired. I really am. I'm tired. Let's go look at the east. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of everything. You know, I'm at the point to where I'm just, I, I'm, I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm really tired. <laughs> Spiritually tired. There's the south. There's the east. That's the north. That's that color I was showing you. So, why is the color kind of cut off? That cloud there is trying to turn red. I mean, you can see all kinds of blue clouds out here. You know, we got system trails and everything. Now, why is the east lit up like that? But look, look right there. See how it looks like it's cut in there? I'd say there's some sort of object right in there, and that's why it's another atmosphere interfering with our own. There's the south. I mean, look how lit up that is. The north should be lit up just like that. See, it's not just the cirrus or the cumulus. There's uh, those as well, cirrus, I do believe. And then there's more cumulus and cirrus. There's more cirrus and, cirrus and cumulus. So how come the north ain't lit up? Just the two spots, there and there. So uh, to me, that's weird. Put this cancer stick out. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, but, uh, here, let's, let's look at the southeast. We ain't looked there yet. There's my pumpkin patch. Can't see it. Got dark on this on the land. There we go. There's my pumpkin patch. Some of the leaves was tore off, of course. Makes me angry, but that's okay. There we go. Now that's full brightness, folks. Now you can see the blue clouds. Look, there's something weird right there. Isn't that weird looking? So, I'm, I'm serious. I'm using full bright. That's why the land looks this little light. Now here, let me take the... I'll put it back where it's supposed to be. There. That's how it's supposed to look right there. That's with, uh, that's normal. That's what I'm seeing right now. So, yeah. As you can see, that looks weird still. Got that going through. In the north, there's no more color in the north. Now, the east has got, you see all this red from, that's the east, folks. 
Looks like it might be the squ square right there, the cube. But anyway, that's the e. That's the east, okay? Now with the sun going down, it's already down, um, the west should be lit up. So should the north, but it's got a bunch of blue clouds. The south, look how that looks now. At the beginning of this uh, video, you seen, remember I mentioned look like a comet? Look at that. Looks like the tail of a comet. See there? Come down and then a ball right there. See it? That's what I'm talking about. That's awesome looking. Look at that. Wow. And look how purple and red it is here. So here, let's go back to the west and check this out. So, and uh, I'm telling you folks, it's <laughs> never replanted eggs. It's affecting our atmosphere. It's affecting our weather. It's affecting uh, natural disasters and catastrophes and flooding, earthquakes, landslides, sinkholes. It's causing droughts and floods. Government ain't helping because they're causing floods too. Look at that. Now, how is that normal? That is not normal, folks. There's nothing normal about what we're looking at right there. But they've uh, they've normalized it and tell everybody everything's fine. But really, it's not. Our days are numbered. That's why I tell people to accept Jesus. I'm telling you, our days are numbered. And we are close to what we know as rapture. We are very close to that. Look how wicked mankind has become. You know, what was good, they made into evil. And what's evil, they're making good. And, you know, the Father, he's not going to let this go on much longer. You know, because they're taking the innocence away from kids, children. And he's not going to allow that. Look at that big ball right there. Boom. So, you know, what grown-ups does is one thing. But when they take the innocence from a child, that's a different thing. So, uh... Only thing I can say is God help us. And we all should accept Jesus and give our lives to him. Because our lives we do owe to him. No matter how bad things get, folks. <clears throat> you can never, ever be in a hole too deep where the you know the arm of God cannot come down and pick you up. No matter what you've done, you will be forgiven. Believe me on that. You know, that's one thing I can promise you. No matter what you've done, there's forgiveness. You will get it. Just ask for it. You know, life may not get easier, you know, because we spend our life doing wrong. You know, and then when we accept Christ, we have a tendency to believe everything is going to get better. But what we don't realize is we spent our entire lives doing wrong. You know, sinning. Living in sin. And when we accept, things become harder because we then want to do what's right. And doing what's right is harder to do than doing what's wrong. So, you know, uh, just take it by each day. You know, Jesus said it himself. Pick up your cross daily and follow me. I will lead you. So, uh, that's what we must do. Now it's turning purple. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. This is awesome looking. Big object here. Another big monster object back in there. Would you believe that's one object that's doing that, all that? One object is causing all of that. I mean, look how purple. Here, let me lighten this screen up. Look at that. See? 
Now I'll put the darkness back where it should go. A little too much. About right there. That's what it should look like. That's what I'm seeing. So here, let's lighten it up a little bit. There we go. I had to lighten the screen up, but you can see all the purple. So, um, folks, we need to get our hearts right, get our minds right. You know, if we can synchronize our hearts and our minds to be with God's word, we've got it made. It's like a face right there, mouth, nose, eye. <laughs> so, folks, it's time. It's time we accept Christ Jesus, our Savior. You know, you don't want to be left behind on this, what's yet to come. I don't want to see it. So, get yourselves right. And remember, there's forgiveness there. you got to ask for it. And be true when you ask for it, and you will get it. I assure you that. I promise you that. And I don't promise nothing. Because the Bible tells us not to promise. So I don't. But when I do promise, it's 100% truth. So, get yourself saved. And I love you all. And uh, much love to everybody. And you all are in my prayers. And uh, I thank you all for watching. Roger Paul in our skies today. God bless you, everybody.